Hey guys, I'm back with the second video of the Huawei Mate 8 unboxing. Basically, I'm just going to take you through the very brief hand-on and the interaction of the phone itself. Let's, without further ado, let's unlock the phone. Instantaneous. By the way, the home screen can be actually rotated horizontally or vertically to your preference. You can actually change it under the setting itself. This is enabled only for Android 6.0, the Marshmallow. Display. There you go, it's the auto rotate screen. Oh, you do have an option to actually display your phone screen on another display via the Wi Fi itself. Brightness. Integrated light. View mode. They do have the color temperature. You get to adjust according to how cool or how hot the screen do you want to be. As in the color, as in the brightness of the white balance. Font size, view mode. I think this is something quite useful. You get to view how small or how medium and large the image and the email will be. Just for just that's based on the preview mode itself. Indicator lights. Let's try out other functions. The smart assistant. This is something like a floating dock. Over here. It's something quite similar to the one at iOS. I, I guess a lot of many um, handphone actually do actually have, but I think something that is more convenient. But I personally prefer you to have disabled to have it disabled, since we do not have a very physical hardware button. Voice control. You see the motion control itself. These are the oh, I'm going to take you through. Some of the very cool stuff where you can actually use a knuckle to take a screenshot or even basically the entire web page itself. And you do have the dual windows uh the dual windows mode. Let's try it out. This they mentioned use a knuckle to draw a line across the screen to enable dual windows. Okay, this application does not support. Let's try it out. Perhaps not all application can. Let me, let's go. Let's go through. Let's go to the screenshot first. Let's try out hardware zone. There it goes. Okay. Yeah. You. Oh, okay. With a with a single knuckle double click, you can actually to, take a screenshot over here. Share. The various apps, more. Whichever app that you have, I think it is quite convenient. Just click to vote if you view to the gallery. Very smooth. Let's try out something like where you can actually take out the whole the entire web page itself. Sometimes the screenshot cannot actually capture the entire web page. You draw an S. This will be a, right now. The phone is actually taking scroll, scrolling at a screenshot. You can actually touch a screenshot area to end. But I'll just like do a uh, update and take out the entire web page itself or the screenshot. Okay, let's stop. Awesome, isn't it? Let's go. You can actually share through easily. Screenshot taken based on a timeline uh, notification and in the uh, interface. And I think this is something very useful. You have you saw in the chrono chronological order. Very crips. There you have the entire screenshot. Let's check out more stuff. Oh yeah, there's one very cool function where you can actually took a big live video of the phone itself. Basically, you can actually share it with one of your friends or perhaps uh, if you even have gaming itself, you can actually just record the video entirely, entire itself without further uh, clicking into the tab itself. Let's have a look. Um, okay, welcome to record video screen. 
Agree. 3, 2, 1. You can actually re record in, in the HD or the Mini. Let's check out the test speed while we are actually doing a live video record. Let's check out the Wi-Fi. Will it connect? Okay, alright, it's on the AC Wi-Fi. Let's begin test. But definitely Wi-Fi suite is very heavily dependent on your Telcos network and the fiber network itself. Surprisingly, speed is considered very fast. Let's go through the camera. So, to try something. Fast responsive. Stop. Quite nice saving video clip. Oh, they, they will actually uh, remind you if, if there is a power intensive app found. Of course, you can choose not to remind you of the closed app itself. Let's view with this. This is exactly the video hoop, the live video hoop I just actually demo on the phone. Cool, isn't it? Speed test. Okay, that's something quite useful. Alright, let's check out some of the camera features. You do have the light painting itself. You can choose photos, video, thumbnail. Oh, you can actually do a thumbnail with the Huawei Mate itself. Beauty, light paintings, car trails. There you have, you can actually look at car trails, light graffiti, silky water, and Star Trek. I believe you should have possessed some complex camera algorithm, you can actually enable you to have a take in different scenario. Okay, let's close the app itself. Let me see. I have already previously go through with you the knuckle base already. Let's see what notification. Oh, since the Huawei Mate 8 is actually uh, both actually uh, support dual 4G SIM card, I have actually tried it previously. You will just go into dual SIM settings. Once you insert a SIM card, the number will just be displayed over here. Once you insert a second SIM card itself on the left side of the phone itself, you will actually uh, automatically display which uh, which one do you want actually to switch to the main as the main SIM card. Or, and, or the second screen card and you can actually within 3 seconds you can actually instantly switch over the 4G network I, uh, and I believe this is what we call a true native 4G dual supported SIM card <laughs> let's go through whether is there any more things to cover yes you have actually the, the touch disable mode to prevent you actually uh, being when you actually carry in your phone right Operation will be carried out, so I th you can actually have it uh, touch a uh, disable to uh, to actually basically to to prevent you from accidental uh, touching of the screen itself. And can actually have it as a schedule power off and on. Smart cover if you do have smart headset control, one-handed UI. Just swap to the left. You get a one-handed swipe to the right, back to the normal screen. Simple as that. Alright, for now, I will just end off my second video. I'll be back with the third one. Thank you.